So today I'm talking about a Toyota with the P0016 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Toyota P0016 code? Well, it's a crankshaft position, camshaft position, bank one, sensor A correlation. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses the crankshaft and the camshaft position sensor for timing, and it's seeing a difference inside of these that shouldn't be there and an issue going on. So it'd have to be troubleshooted to know why. And some of the main causes of this is going to be a faulty cam or crank sensor. It could be a problem in the wiring. It could be an open or short, a timing belt or timing chain, or it could be a problem in the variable valve timing solenoid, which also is part of the timing. And so while many people will automatically go to the crankshaft and the camshaft position sensor, and this could be the problem, it says this code is basically seeing that there's a, something out of correlation or range between the two of these sensors. I would check the timing belt first and just be sure that the timing belt is on correct. There'll, there'll be marks. You can look on YouTube or you could Google it. And so there's ways you could check this to be sure that the timing belt, it hasn't slipped a notch and basically be sure that it's good because if the timing belt has gotten very stretched or if it's slipped a notch or anything along these lines then it could cause a problem between these two sensors a reading going on and so the first thing at least what i would do is go check and be sure that the timing belt is not overly stretched and that it hasn't slipped a notch by checking the markings and if that all looks good then another common problem is going to be the variable valve timing solenoid and this is directly related with timing and what this does is it helps give better lift to the cams at certain speeds it helps with performance but it can also affect timing and one of the issues with this is that oil flows through it and so if the oil's low or if the oil's really dirty then it can affect this so be sure to check the oil be sure it's at the correct level be sure it's not super dirty or anything like this and you could take it out you could clean it they're low cost parts to buy but many people clean them up there's also a small screen that can become clogged up and block the flow of oil. So this would be another thing to check. And quite often you'll get another code when the variable valve timing solenoid is having an issue, but it is something to keep in mind. It can affect this. So one of the things to check is the variable valve timing solenoid. And so if you checked all that, if the timing belt is, is good, there's no issues there, that variable valve timing is good, the oil looks good, it's at the correct level and everything, then very likely there is a problem with the crankshaft or the camshaft position sensors. And so there can be differences between engines when it comes to these. Sometimes there'll be one crankshaft position sensor. Sometimes there'll be two. Sometimes there'll be one camshaft position sensor. Toyotas quite commonly have two, but there can be four on some of the newer ones. So you have to get a diagram or Google it to find out exactly what's going on with these. Since there can be some differences, here's a 1.8 liter Toyota 2012. It'll have two camshaft position sensors, one here and one here. And so basically, when you go to check these, you could either test the sensors or replace them. They're low-cost parts, so most people would go and replace them, but you could also test them. And then if that doesn't work, then you need to start checking the wiring because wiring could cause the same issues as a bad sensor. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a Toyota with the P0016 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.